Good morning, everyone. Dobre Ranako. Today, I'm actually going to be meeting the battalions, the soldiers that we're going to be dropping off this donated NAFO truck to. I'm inside the Pers Lavara. It's like a monastery. Let's take a look. So, nice ladies. Cleaning up the fall leaves. I see the trucks in front of us. I've actually never been inside this complex before. It's beautiful. I got here just in time for the photo shoot. Wow, look at this. How cool is this? And we got a lot of donated gear as well. A couple of drones. There's Mavic Pros. Good job. Who gave this one? Let's see. Mikado. Our boy. Nothing but love for Ukraine. Freedom is yours. That's something that I can hear him saying. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Stover and Akko. Man, you, I'm surprised you guys are awake after last night. <laughs> Got a beat. <laughs> I uh, woke up at 5 a.m. Guys, welcome to Kyiv. Welcome to Ukraine, guys. Dad, it be sex. <laughs> and there will be. <laughs> Music is emotion, and uh, I'm glad to be here in my country. I born here. Why we here? We want Ukraine. We'll win. It's big. Yes, it's big. Yes. We're big. <laughs> So this is the first one they're giving away. This is the brigade. That's going to. We often award last time. Uh, uh, everyone, every, every mission from board, we uh, use board uh, for. So, guys, they're still doing the handoff. Uh, I decided to go for a walk. I'm actually going to the restroom, but he gave me an excuse to look at how beautiful Fisher's Glaver is. This grounds is beautiful. I've actually been here a long time ago, years ago, and I forgot how huge this complex is. Because every time you drive by, you just see the front church. When you go in, you're like, wow, it's majestic. And just down this hill, you have the whole city center here. It's a church, but like in many countries, the churches look like little fortresses. Like... All right, so uh, with Arthur Ray, uh, this is our first time meeting, but we've, we've seen each other online for a long time now. Yes, actually. And when I go to uh, my YouTube analytics and what other channels your viewers watch, then you're one of the channels, actually. Yeah. Shows me your thumbnails. Yeah, and actually a lot of my viewers always said, oh, you got to meet Arthur, he's in town. Uh, and we just randomly bumped into each other. I didn't recognize you because I didn't realize you're like two meters tall. Yeah, barely. And not one, <laughs> 194, like six centimeters to go. I'm trying to get, I'm going to wear like <laughs> longer yeah, please, ones. Yeah, please don't. I need to be taller. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I was watching your channel a lot. Uh, you and Jake Bro kind of throughout the war, even though I was in Ukraine and I could just look out my window, it's still helpful to have these map updates. And your channel especially was very entertaining. Yesterday, my friends, the Russian Ministry of Defense officially announced pulling back from Robotina. This settlement right here, which has been liberated by Ukraine for at least two and a half weeks, but the fun part is how they announced it. You know this guy, right? This guy usually gives the what 5,000 Ukrainian planes destroy in numbers. Russian troops retreat victoriously. Ukrainian army runs after them in panic. This is exactly the vibe I'm getting from it. Like you always have these uh, yeah. inside jokes, these little memes. Was that always your personality? 
Yeah, kind of, because mentally, actually, I'm not that like a tough or rough person. So for me to do this military vlog, I needed to find a way for myself also to make uh -huh. it light and for the viewers also. So humor, actually, okay, it's good for the viewers, but for my me mentally, it really makes me able to do these videos. Otherwise, it would be so dark. Yeah, it actually reminds me of, I forgot the name, there's an American guy who does military videos, not, not about Ukraine, but just in general. Now that the dust has settled on this incident, what evidence is confusing some people into thinking that Prigozhin faked his own death? If Prigozhin was killed by Putin, what does that mean for the remaining Wagner forces? What changes has Russia made to deal with the valuable empire Wagner built from Syria to Africa that helps fund their war in Ukraine? I'm your average infantryman, Chris Cappy. Well, let's find out. And people always, uh, you know, say like, hey man, like, why do you, why do you uh, make these jokes? It's like, to keep myself sane. Yeah. Talking about death and killing and uh, destruction and Document. like, you just have to do it. To just give the dry information of this unit got hammered, this yeah. guy is executed, this village taken, no humor at all. For me, it's like, I couldn't do it. I have, yeah. And you know, to be honest, I actually stopped watching your channel for like a month or two during like, I, it was kind of a dark period for me, but also for Ukraine. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I just need the information. I don't want to be entertained. So I only watch like, you know, war maps and stuff like this. I, I, gotta, I understand some people yeah. might feel wrong about, okay, this is war. Why is he making jokes like that? But that's what they don't get, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But uh, then I started watching your channel again, actually. <laughs> Yay. Woo. Because now I think like Ukraine is winning and we have like, it's a little bit more lighthearted. And I realized, well, first I saw your subscriber count grow and your viewer count grow. So congratulations. On thanks, this. thanks, man. And <laughs> then I realized, you know what? As my audience and a lot of the other audiences are getting tired of the war. Yeah, I, I feel that. Like, you, you need the humor and this personality to keep them engaged and keep them caring about Ukraine. So I'm happy that you're doing that. Thanks, yeah. yeah. And and the, yeah. Like, I'm standing in front of your truck, actually. Our right? trucks, actually. That, was uh, mine, that, that is, yours. yeah, and that's mine, it's right perfect, next to yeah. each other, yeah. So, like, the, the fact that we're able to raise these, you know, get these trucks from our audience, like, it's, whatever we're doing is, is working, you know? So. Wait, I heard that you said you match donations. Yeah. Is that a deal, some kind, with your audience, or? Yeah, so basically, I know, like, you know, my audience isn't, like, uh, so into, like, following with the war. I think they watch my channel more for, like, travel, for lifestyle, kind of uh -huh. see what life is like. <laughs> and then if I'm fundraising for something like humanitarian, you know, like if someone needs, uh, like, food or shelter, like, they're happy to donate. But for military trucks, it's not really my audience. So when I took this campaign on, I was like, man, there's a chance that I'm not going to get to the, the 16,000 euros. And that's when I decided, I said, you know what, let me... Uh, match everybody's donations up you, to you said it you promised yeah damn it i could have said for my viewers go and go and donate the hell out of this like you have to match a very big amount <laughs> well up to sixteen thousand. because i was like oh, okay, okay. i was like if i i was like if i take eight thousand euros out of my my bank account and what's whatever it was yeah that was, that was uh from the donations before i was like i can do that but anymore i'm I'd be screwed. it's gonna so. it's gonna hurt and you, you asked me yesterday i mean what what am i gonna do after the war and you said actually that you would like to delete all your social media yeah, and everything. I'm done. After this, no more Twitter. Like, I guarantee Twitter's gonna be gone. X, whatever they call it, is gonna be gone. I'm gonna stop posting on Facebook. I'm gonna stop posting everywhere because I feel like I'm kind of obligated to try to help Ukraine because I'm here yeah. and I have this channel. But when this war ends, guys, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. You're Popka. not gonna see Tony anymore. Yeah. Sad day gonna be. Uh, but we'll, we'll still be friends. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, uh, cool truck this is just one of uh three that'll be coming there's two here one's on its way and he has the only vip all blacked out truck yeah it's going to special forces and they actually i think it's spu and they said they don't want the painted truck because they are more priority targets than the black ones yeah that makes sense of course they will take off the flags and everything but the russians are less likely to bomb a black truck than a green truck so that's uh -oh. what they they well, said why this one doesn't get bombed oh yeah but we'll see. i mean i think last time we saw, we gave a truck and a week later videos came in from the front of the demolished oh, one no. of my trucks and he's like oh my god one week whole fundraiser campaign is boom it's gone i don't want to show it to my audience yeah but it's, no 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 i think it's it's useful because yeah during that week they were probably assaulting so they were probably gaining land they're probably saving lives yeah or taking uh, russian uh it served Russians a purpose, off, yeah. I hope. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, like, I, I would love, I would absolutely love to see this driving around after the war. Yeah. And, like, and like you know, if they could pick me up and take me, like, take me for coffee in this <laughs> after the war to celebrate, I'll be so happy. But I know the odds of it are, are very small. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. 
Anyways. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You, it's been fun. Uh, we're going to hand out some more of the, these cars. Arthur, I, uh, I'm proud of you for actually coming out to uh, Ukraine for the what, second time now? Uh, fourth, actually. Fourth time. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You other YouTubers, <laughs> come out. Come come show your support. I mean, if you're talking about Ukrainian, like, I, I know you don't live as close as Estonia, but... And you live in Kiev. Come out and connect some. Yeah. And... Come out, guys. What are, what are these, buddy? Oh, these are some drones for the Ukrainian military. That's nice. I figured I'd just include them with the truck. You know, just throw them in, a little bonus? Yeah, just a little bonus. I like it. Can you show me your truck? Yeah, come yeah. on. Nice. So this is our truck. We actually have like two and a half vehicles because I have another one for another unit. Mm -hmm. And then we helped Alex Kanash with this one. It's an up-armored vehicle, but this is a medical ambulance. Up armor truck and these two vehicles are going to the east of Ukraine and we're actually delivering it to them for them. Oh wow, you're gonna you're gonna be driving to Kramatorsk? I'm going to Kramatorsk, yeah. It's nice yeah. telling you, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, 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 thanks, buddy. Yeah, so it's very important. You wanna check out the back of this? Yeah, please. Yeah. Minnesota home state. Oh, is that what that flag is? Yeah, bro, it's a home state of Minnesota. Minnesota. Beautiful. Good morning, Keith. You've been a guest. Yeah, you're I'll one be on it again. First guests, and yeah, you're gonna be on it when we come back. Yeah. And Actually, guys, uh, I don't know if I've told you this on my channel, but I, did, I didn't have the idea of fundraising for an info truck until I was on his channel. And I was like, you know what? This is a good idea. So uh, you have to thank uh, Mr. Mercado and uh, Alan Kanish, because without these guys, we wouldn't have had this truck. I wouldn't have even had this idea. The honor was ours. This is um, the back of it. Oh, nice. Look, okay, it's fully decked out. They got a gurney here, obviously, wounded or you know, soldiers that need aid will be laying on this while the medics or doctors wow. are Wow. This, like, this is like a proper... It's a, it's a proper ambulance. Proper, proper ambulance. Yep, they got the medical separators for different wow. equipment they need. That green duffel bag is a fundraised item from one of our members of our community mm -hmm. at, the, at the Mercado Media. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Yorkie Mom. All in that whole bag is full of individual fridges, chest seals, and, and more. So fully stocked medical van. So awesome. That's awesome. Oh yeah. And this Kness truck with an armor on it. Probably like two fifty to sixty thousand euro in aid this time. Okay. Combined with the two trucks, plus we assisted with this one a little bit for Alex. I think on the third one I might try and throw some joke drones in. Yeah bro, yes, absolutely. This is, how, this is how ideas and deals are yes, made. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. This, this is what it takes. We yeah. just talk, yeah. By the way, if you guys don't recognize, this is Cossack Gundi. I'm a bit bit indistinguishable now with all the weight I've put on. Well, I mean, to be fair, you were not small before. You just got starved by the Russian prisons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When first captured two months ago, it was assumed both men would be treated as prisoners of war. Both Aidan Aslin and Sean Pinner had been sworn in as fully-fledged members of the Ukrainian armed forces. The Russians, though, decided to go down the road of a show trial. Both men, and a third from Morocco, were convicted of being mercenaries and given the severest sentence possible, the death sentence. So actually, now we're in front of, this is the truck that you've raised. Yeah. Uh, so for those who don't know, actually, this is, a, is this a Ranger, Ford Ranger? Yeah, Ford oh, Ranger. Cool truck. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Klazak Gundi here actually is also Johnny. Yeah. And <laughs> how did we meet? Uh, it was it was pretty weird circumstances. Uh -huh. it, it it took it was probably just after seven months since I was released. Okay. And uh, I, I can't remember exactly. It was in May time, wasn't it? It was here out here in Kiev, but. Then he told me the story of how he, where he was watching my channel. And, oh, yeah. And that blew my... <laughs> so, so when I was in Mariupol, on the very few occasions that we would get, like, internet, especially during the first few days when we retreated, I would see what was going on in the rest of Ukraine, and the, the biggest source of information for that was YouTube. And I remember being already following Johnny, I, I saw a video of, that he released, and I was like, okay, let's, let's see what's going on in Kiev. And I was like, okay, like Kiev's under attack, um, so we're pretty, uh, we're pretty screwed, like here with everything else going on. So I was, I was following like his videos, like during the time that I was able to get get them on the internet. Um, and then I think, uh, did I did I message you straight away when I got released? Or? Something like that. It, I mean, and the thing is, he wasn't in Mariupol as a tourist. He, he, he's a, a volunteer marine, and actually, you've been defending Ukraine since since like the Donbass time yeah right? so since since 2018 
Um, so when, when the invasion started, we were on the front line in East Ukraine, just probably 10 minutes down the road from Mariupol. Um, so obviously when the invasion started, we were like in the worst location because not only did we have the Russians on one side, we had the Russians coming to us from Crimea. If you're watching this, it means that we've surrendered. We've lasted about a month, two weeks in the city of Mariupol. Um, we finally exhausted all our resources, um, ran out of ammunition, food, the only thing we had left was water, but apart from that, uh, we were just under constant heavy, heavy shelling, heavy artillery, heavy airstrikes. Yesterday was the heaviest, they uh, hit us with everything they had, so due to heavy casualties and the situation. We didn't really have any other choice other than to surrender. Um, hopefully this, this fucking war finishes so fucking peace can come again. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And what's your military background before this? So previously before Ukraine, I've got no like Western military background. Mm -hmm. um, before I came to Ukraine, I was in Syria as a uh, volunteer with the Kurdish uh, YPG. Okay. Um, and then after that, I looked at starting a new life somewhere and chose Ukraine because I understood what the Ukrainians have been fighting for since Maidan. I understood the history of the region. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to emigrate and start a new life somewhere. And I saw that there was an opportunity for foreigners to enlist in the military officially. And I wanted to come to Ukraine, take citizenship. But at the same time, my core philosophy is that if you take citizenship of another country, you should give something in return to that. Uh, that's nice. Uh, oh, but according to Russian propaganda, you came to Ukraine for the first time in 2022 as a mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so the Russians, when, when they caught me, um, they, they have a very like old school Soviet like way of thinking. So they, they, they saw me, they immediately said I was a mercenary despite all the evidence and all the information that was available on the internet, especially with my social media, which I've like had since 2019, like talking about like the history of Ukraine and letting people become informed about what was going on here. They, they turned around and said I was a mercenary. Um, the Russian state propaganda channels, they, they made an article saying I was a mercenary, but they included a picture of me swearing, taking my oath to Ukraine. Um, and, <laughs> and then later on, they sentenced me to death for being a mercenary. Um, and I remember one of the things I said to them like in court when we pled not guilty to the mercenary charge, and they turned around to me and said, there's no international law here. Um, so the whole, the whole captivity side of things, everything is as you would expect it super soviet style like mentality yeah. and just none of it makes any sense so if you guys ever see me in russian prison saying yeah i'm a paid mercenary i work for the cia i'm a spy and i have like you know they're gonna look they're, they're gonna be like uh, we have a photo like they, this where's your happy days one? That one yeah if you see a photo of me 40 kilos like 80 pounds less they, and i'm singing the russian national anthem so, I mean, it's, it's freaking, I'm trying not to die, right? So uh, another thing as well, in yeah. Russian captivity, the Russians would most likely say that this tattoo is a Nazi oh, yeah, tattoo. This is, yeah, <laughs> guys, this uh, upside down, this is a SWAT sticker. You can see this like, uh, <laughs> this is like my, my crew of uh, jellyfish uh, Nazis. So yeah, it's, it's stupid. Like anything that you, you guys see in Russian propaganda, it's all BS. Yeah. And like you know they might take a grain of truth saying okay he's british he's fighting the ukrainian army so therefore he must be a mercenary it's all bs you know there was there was one moment um, when when i was being interrogated they, they were saying i was a nazi and they were asking what my ideological like beliefs are i told them i'm an anarchist libertarian and though they they had to stop the video because what i said wouldn't work with what they were trying to push in the uh, the propaganda video yeah so putting this out there now guys if if, if i am ever in russia against my will i will say i'm a nazi <laughs> but you know and if you guys are stupid enough to believe it i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> all, right. all right thanks buddy i'm glad you're out i'm glad, glad uh, to see you putting on a little bit of weight so <laughs> he's no longer uh being malnourished but um never again <laughs> never again
Uh, you know what? I didn't realize. I didn't show you your truck. Can you yeah. can you give us a little tour? We've got we've got 2010 Ford Ranger. Yeah. Um, we've got the Nafa details on it. Nice. And then the best part about the truck is obviously uh, Budenheimer. Why buy Budenheimer? What because he he is our Lord and Savior. He he is God. Okay. Um, For those who don't understand the meme, it's Oppenheimer. But who is this guy? So this guy is the head of the Ukrainian intelligence. Ah. Um, he he's literally a god to us. Did Ukraine strike a Russian airbase? Only after ending of this war. After the war, you can answer that. I think so. I'm very glad to see this. Yeah. That's my reaction. That's your reaction. You're happy to see it. Happen. Yeah. Do you think there'll be more? I think so. Inside Russia, deep inside Russia. Deeper and deeper. Like, if he if he became president, like, that's be a president happy? I could be happy with. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And then, Kazak Gundi. Kazak Gundi, so if anything happens to the truck, like, the Russians will know I'm responsible for it. <laughs> yeah, how does it feel? Because, I mean, are you not scared to be back in Ukraine after, uh, you know, being put in not, Russian prison? No, not really. I mean, if I get captured again, I mean, on the plus side, at least, at least they'll just kill me this time instead of keeping me in captivity. Okay. <laughs> um, but this is the, uh, we've got, we've got another vehicle, the uh, uh, Nevada, just mm -hmm. down there. Um, but this is the second uh, donation run we've done. Um, we're going to hand these vehicles over to the units. I think we might have to drive this to Kremontorsk. So you're going to drive it over, well? Wow. Possibly, if I've got the time to do it. But um, we're going to get it signed over to the unit. And then hopefully in the future, we're going to do a third donation run. Oh, wow. Well, follow 69th Symphony Grade, but also Kanzai Kundi. And I just realized, I follow these guys on uh, Twitter. Is he here? Uh, I'm not too I feel like they were kind of like anonymous, right? Possibly, he might be here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find these guys. So, it's toilets are brave because they are looking at tissues, but we are looking at own shoes. So, it's Andrew Mikado's turn to do the handover. Let's take a listen. We're the assault brigade and also counter sniper fight. So, we've done. Uh, working on usual people in the commanders, oh. officers, etc. If you can just remind us this story, Hello. how did you <laughs> fight you get, how did you <laughs> get the lie from the house? <laughs> well, it was very bad and sad story, but I'm alive, I'm here. From uh, 14 Convoy, I'm from April Busy. 11 months our battalion stay in the backwood, so now we stay in a, on a one of corner of backwood. We uh, fight with the Wagners and uh, we, now we fight with the regular army of Russian Federation. From when we came to Bakhmut first time until now, uh, our battalion uh, showed a great result. We, uh, we uh, killed and more than 4,000 Wagners on the Kurdimov, Kauzriano, and Lushivka cities. And uh, we stay, we fight, and uh, our battle wanna say things for all guys for your support. This is very important for us. And uh, for our battalion, for 1969th Infantry Brigade, I want to present to you it's our it's our medal, and uh, it's a document, Minister of Defense, our battalion. Alright, so in between handoffs, while I'm waiting for my turn to give uh, my truck away, I'm walking with Pete to get a little coffee. Pete, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Great to be here. What are you doing here, anyways? I'm trying to help Ukraine win the war. Yeah? And were yeah. you? how are you involved? Um, just as a volunteer, I was angry like everybody else uh -huh. that uh, another country was being invaded by a tyrant and oh. thought, I'd see if I could do something to help. Nice. And so you decided, um, so you drive one of the trucks over or? I, dri I drive ambulances here and I drive trucks over here. Oh, nice. To help. 
Is this your first fight? First trip here or no? No, this is trip number 21. Wow. 21 times. Yeah. He came to Ukraine 21 times no, during yeah. the war. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> and yes. to bring like the, these trucks over. Ambulances, ambulances and trucks. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. cool. Did, did you see all these trucks here? Yes. Do you know what, it's, what it is? It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's all uh, like uh, foreigners who we've donated these trucks. There's 20, uh, I think we've 21 of them. Americans and Germans, a guy from Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, from Estonia, like uh, all yeah, vehicles. mostly like uh, it's uh, we have like YouTube channels and we fundraise and we b bought all these trucks. Ah. Nice to meet you guys, Papa. Yeah. So here are all the trucks lined up, ready to be donated, and right next to the black special forces truck is mine. And I'm not sure if these guys are the ones I'm handing off to yet. I haven't met them yet, but so he's the one who drove the car yesterday from UK. Uh, who, who donated it? So, uh, farmer, farmer, had, uh, do you speak English? A little bit, I, yeah. I understand. Uh, farmer had a truck in his yard, just, and I say, Ukraine, and he said, oh, oh. So, so he gave it for free? Totally for free. Wow. Um, so, yeah, uh, he, he was very nervous. He was, he was nervous about the Russians knowing that it was his truck. Uh, so I've sent him lots of pictures, but never we with covered the, it, yeah. the, the number plate. But uh, yeah, I, I bought two other trucks. And That's cool. And then who paid to like fix it up and um, paint and everything? Uh, I paid for the tires, for the repairs, mm. for the paint and stuff. Um, Just out of your pocket or are you fundraising? Uh, I'm useless at fundraising, so... <laughs> I generally just pay for it myself. Well, appreciate it. Uh, if someone wants to buy you a pint, <laughs> look them up. Yeah, please. And the handover will be in, in a minute. I just want to introduce you. Thank you. No. Yeah. It's really cool that they got to meet before the official handoff and they can kind of show what's uh, what's happening with the, uh, with the truck and everything. Okay, so I was asking what the patch says on the side, and the translation is "eat to the fullest," but m I think it means more like uh, "fuck you, Russia, eat shit" or something. <laughs> All right, that's one of the Mikado trucks leaving. So what's really cool is I actually saw this truck pull in when I went to the car wash, and this actually didn't have any camo on it. So look at it now, and you can see what it looked like when it first arrived just uh, the other day. How cool is this, guys? So this one's a British one? Yeah. Because it's on this side. Right. This one's, this one's too nice. <laughs> I hope this yeah. one doesn't get blown up. Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. none of them will. Mine's probably going to get blown up. Mine's a salt, yeah, a salt one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll see. It's a Kanash. It's going to be one of the cars. One of the Mikado cars. Uh, Mikado. Come. Uh, uh, it's uh, Andrew Mikado. He's giving, he donated the car. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. Hi, nice to meet nice you. To meet nice you. to meet you. Absolutely. Is this the one you're receiving this? No, I think no. the Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Because like I drove vehicles and like this one's mine, but I didn't even drive it because I can't drive them manual. And they suck. You can't drive a manual? No. Bro. Why would, I, why would I drive a manual? Can I teach you? Yeah, actually. Like, right? Yeah, we can actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can teach you. Here. Yeah, we can teach you. Teach me right now. Yeah, yeah. Like off, off, off road course. Yeah, yeah. Places. Yeah, and then. Maybe so down. Yeah, okay. Make Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll learn how to roll on. Guys, if we uh, destroy this car or accidentally crash into the cathedral, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to teach you how to drive stick right now. Well, guys, uh, we're pausing the handoff right before me, actually. And because we need some rations, <laughs> we'll have some pizza, which I'm sure is better than whatever you're eating in Russian cap captivity. Better, but well, I, I should be focusing on the salads. <laughs> it's okay. We'll have some Olivier for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. 
this is where everyone ran off to. Smash no hole. That's what we got, guys. Oh, this is from Harky, this brand. Oh, thank you very much. We just say thank you for you to that you help us uh, to protect our land, to get rid of the occupants from the Russians. This is present from a historian. He's from the village called Kuchinovka. And this is uh, homemade uh, vodka. Oh, oh. Samohon. Samohon. So, so self made uh, vodka from the village. <laughs> this is the type called Medog. This is the, the highest quality. For you, folks. Uh, let's go. Right. Come. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is the biggest drinker? Yeah. The Finnish guy. Finland. 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 Herself bought uh, a night vision wow. set for for historian, and this is historian for you. Uh, for thank you for protecting. This is from Sari and from all uh, Nafo community. Uh. Thank you. 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 Okay, so historian is also hungry as me, so let's have a pizza. Very good. Uh. Yeah. Thank you. Not bad. Very good. So, so you know that? Yeah, cool. Я покажу и нам I feel like I have some hair growing now. <laughs> Maybe on my head, hopefully. <laughs> Time. This is the village of my father as well. Okay. Yeah, is this, is this Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really close. It's really close. Draw the cars. Doing great. So, let me please do it now. And thanks to my brother Mikita for did them for you. Mikita, say hi. Hello. Yeah. So this is for Final Rafael. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. This is okay. Trachinsky Ruslan. He's given an interview. I don't know if I have your wallet. Oh, you should have one. I have one last time I got. Oh, nice. It's going to have your name on it and everything. Press Yanni. Guys, we should get one. I don't know if I'm gonna have one because, like, I wasn't even added to the group chat. <laughs> uh, just like, oh, Johnny doesn't keep. Oh, okay, we'll see. Uh, it'd be nice, <laughs> but uh, I'm not getting my hopes up. Uh, trying to break it open. And uh, get <laughs> this is for you. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thanks a lot, guys. See? Right. I'll, I'll, I'll get you one, Johnny. I don't know. We'll figure. <laughs> I have one. He needs one though. Um, Johnny has these. What is this uh, meme thing? North Carolina flag? No, no, the meme thing. 69 stupid. No, the white guy the white with the. Guy. Oh, that's. Um, it's actually copyrighted. There's a whole Twitter account made by these characters, and 69 stupid brigade got a permission, official permission to use those actually, because they're super copyrighted, super owned by somebody. But we can put them on the cars. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the, uh, the one that. The one flag on our truck was the Australian Aboriginal flag. Oh. From the Aboriginal side. That's cool. That one is. I have a big Aussie following, so. Right, see? This is special ops, the top one. So this car will be used to uh, carry out uh, the soldiers to the positions, also to carry some provision and also for evacuation, everything you need. This is definitely the most experienced soldier we had. Because he's 70 years old and he's still, as you see, active, active military. And this is the ask, hey, can I be next? Because even today, he drive back to Kramatorsk, so which is 600 kilometers. Front. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80
So the situation is in general in the front line. The 80s assault brigade is in the vanguard. И что сказал что до Палестины? Скажи какая какой это. The L-119 Hobbitser unit of the 80th Airborne Brigade took this position just several days ago as the Ukrainian forces advanced in the Bakhmut direction. This artillery unit is here to support the infantry at the line of contact. It's never calm. The sounds of explosions are mixed with the whistling of shells and the quiet but deadly buzzing of Russian drones. Um, one question is, uh, I was told that your uh, battalion now is, is busy on the front line. Um, that's why they, they cannot be here today. Uh, it's, it's good news, yes? Yes. <laughs> що ваш батальйон, як ви зараз дуже зайнятий на на фронті там. Тобто це добре на мене, так? Добре, він же ми йдемо вперед. Це вже добре. Я їх moving forward the Tomas the, and a little in addition, this car was driven by Olga. Olga? Olitska? Uh, this is something uh, up, uh, from us that we brought from Thank Estonia for yes. you and your soldiers. Uh, actually, uh, one more thing I need to give is the truck. So thank you so much for everyone who watches the Johnny FD YouTube channel for donating. Uh, thank you for the Stiffy Brigade uh, for organizing all this. Thank you to Christoph and Olga for driving it all the way from Estonia. And uh, thanks to all of you who are watching and supporting Ukraine. Uh, it's my big pleasure to hand this car over to the representative from the 80th Air Assault Brigade. Take care of it. Thank you. 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 Thank and the Mongolians are back, and Russia is going to be uh, put in this place again. <laughs> so this is Ragnar, by the way, from uh, the actually organizer yes. of the 69th Stephanie Brigade. Uh, what is in this box? It's, a, it's, our, it's like night vision. Uh, yeah, this is basically helping to drive on the, except it's night vision because the, you cannot use lights. Uh -huh, yes. So this basically, uh, if you're driving on night time, then you can see and so this basically the, the screen. Mm -hmm. So it will he exactly help to drive on the night time. Oh, it's very cool. Yeah, it's super, super, super needed. And yeah, you, you see the guy is so hurry. He wanted yeah. to make it. Yeah. Uh, he at the night vision. Oh, extra tires in the back as well. Nice to meet you. Be safe. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, they are driving straight to Kramatorsk to pick up their rest of the battalion and they're actually going to be driving the front lines. They'll be there uh, this time tomorrow and I've kept uh, the naval vanity plate as a souvenir. Thank you guys so much for everyone who's donated. You guys are the ones who made it happen. So let's wish them the best of luck and uh, thank you for defending Ukraine. Пока, пока. Thank you so much to everybody who donated. This car is literally going straight to the front line. It's love Ukraine, guys. Let's hope they survive, the unit survives, and Ukraine survives.
Hey, 